Sky News has ended the contract of contributor Mark Latham. Uh, Please understand, they are safe as long follows, as they are not discovered. Uh, well, a number of controversies in relation to his comments uh, around Christina Keneally, Wendy Harmer. Look like dickheads yes. doing their yeah. video. Oh, yeah. Total dickhead. So the, the boys at the at the at the boys' these, school. Uh, the story that's been doing the rounds on a lot of news sites today in relation to uh, some Sydney boys' high school students and a video they recorded for International Women's Day. Is not doing justice to the real problem we've got that the left are marching forward through our institutions with things like safe schools, A to C, safe spaces, trigger warnings, systematically walking through our institutions uh, with a cultural revolution on a scale we haven't seen since Mao's effort in China in the 1960s, where they want everyone to think, behave and have the same values as them. And if the Conservatives don't stand up to this and use a big stick, a big stick and some tough talk and some rough language to deal with these people, then you won't get any support. I don't care. I love it. Why wouldn't you want to make Australia great again? There's no shame in a Trump hat. He's the American president-elect. What a magnificent thing to say on such a night. Now, nationalism, well, of course, uh, people are going to want to take back their country. There are a lot of people badly treated in the system. It's not just the economic issues, but these cultural issues that you uh, focus on, Andrew, are paramount. Things like political correctness, identity politics, the farce we see in this country about the erosion of free speech and the attempt of the cultural dietitians to make us all like them because they think they're morally superior. doing quite fine. They ignore most of the left feminist claptrap. They ignore people like Van, who are a very, very minority interest in our society. She's a self-declared anarchist, way, way on the extreme left of politics, representing perhaps 0.001 per cent. deluded females. Keep away from personal attack. Can I defend myself, please, or is a man going to speak over me no, about me? No, you're trying me? to speak over us as Yes, ever. you are Come speaking on, you over go. me, Mark. Here you're proving hey. my point, Mark. You're not even letting me talk about myself. Now, I've known you for 20 years. No, you haven't. I met, met you. I met you when I was an undergraduate at the University oh, of Wollongong. Well, you know for a fact I'm from a working-class family from the suburbs of Sydney, and I write about that in my work all the time. You have to deal with the fact, Mark, that your position is the extremist one. I'm from the suburbs. I'm state school. I'm University of Wollongong, okay. and I'm a feminist commentator. We've You're pointed out okay. the we deluded females. And beyond that, and beyond that, I've found out that at the ABC you can't use the word Aborigine. Mm. It's now got to the absurdity of, of policing political correctness in Australia that at the ABC they can broadcast the word sea struck. Mm. Mm. which is as ribald as it comes out of the, the mouth of Michael Lawler on Four Corners, but they can't use the word Aboriginal. Well, this I, is, I, I, this I, is I, totally out I, of control. I, 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 like four right Republicans in the United States who thought you could be nice and civil and friendly, all these little Marco Rubios and the like. Well, Trump wiped them aside and then he's wiped Clinton aside on the basis that he has got the big stick and where necessary he'll use it. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Through any street in Western so Sydney, and no one, no one would find, no one would find Negro offensive. I don't think that's true. And, and, and who are that's these unelected, self-appointed people who've decided that we all need to speak well, like them? <laughs> Negro was actually a respected, uh, dignified uh, uh, alternative to really racist terms like nigger and darky. So uh, I must have missed the memo somewhere <laughs> in the 90s, as to, or more recently, as to when Negro became uh, unacceptable. You think Negro is okay? Well, you know, I'm happy to make my weekly donation to Australia's outrage industry mm. by saying Negro, <laughs> Negro, Negro. Oh. Van's debate about women like her, because 
left oh, feminism is essentially sake, selfish. Can I hear? Okay. Can I speak, Andrew, without you being well, a you, participant? You, are you a participant insist, in this show you or a host? Upon are you a professional host or guest, a participant? I am trying to get to the bottom of the issue, but you try to insult the other guests. Are you the host of this program, professional and cool? Are you the host of this program? You should declare who you what you're doing at the beginning of the segment. You should declare your interests at the beginning of the segment. Because I can tell you the viewer. Deluded female. where somehow men have been genetically engineered to dominate women, that's ridiculous. Jeez. Hey, yeah. And then they get attacked by the girls for being a toxic culture of misogyny. Toxic I misogyny. I mean, they just can't win. Why yeah. would they bother? Blokes can't win. They are go. the damn dickheads. News flash. Blokes, Blokes can't win. win. <laughs> Ross, who has one? Who has one? They've got other troubles, drugs, alcohol in their life. Uh, it's that loss of self-esteem where I think they use the domestic violence as a coping mechanism to get over all the other uh, crap that they've got in their lives. Well, a lot of people, especially those who are left out of the identity uh, uh, categories, I hate this stuff. And uh, when they vote, as they did in Brexit, they marched out quietly, methodically, peacefully, and took back their country. That's how they saw it, they took back their country. And quite frankly, what's happened in the United States is a lot of people out there, as Peter Credlin said, in small town America, went out and did exactly the same thing. It's a very, very powerful emotion in politics to go out there in a democracy and take back and reclaim your country. And that's what they've done. And it's not just on the economic issues. I mean, the left, in some respects, will actually be saying, oh, these poor down, downtrodden victims of globalisation. The bigger issue is, no, about the cultural, no. is about the cultural imperatives and people who feel like they haven't got the rights of citizenship, the rights of freedom, the rights of having their kids in decent schools without all this... Uh, uh, leftist cultural revolution and in decent universities without the safe spaces and trigger warning nonsense. People in mate, small mate, town I've America have rebelled mate, against that. all that stuff. Mate, I've missed it. I sold Corey Bernardi as uh, Australia's next Donald Trump, but I think I might be talking to him right now. took on the mainstream media as disgusting people, mainly because they are disgusting people. He took on Wall Street, he took on the foreign policy defence establishment that's failed hopelessly in the Middle East, particularly through the invasion of Iraq. He's taken on the special interests and the corruption in Washington. He took on the Hillary Clinton machine and all its corruption. So normally, in the conventional wisdom of politics, you uh, take on those uh, powerful interests, I'll crush you. But Trump today is triumphant. So great encouragement there for people who want to campaign against the establishment, knowing that they can prevail. I've got something you haven't got, and I've got something Jeff Kennett will never have, and that's an economics degree. So, oh, Koshi, God instead of you having a little love-in with the Prime Minister, how about putting some real <laughs> fiscal questions to him instead of kissing him on the cheek? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, we'll leave it there. It's all about all dickheads right, talking about us. stuff they know nothing about. That's what it's about. <laughs> sufficient to say vote for me because I'm a woman or vote for me because I'm black or vote for me because I'm gay. It's, uh, it's not a way to appeal to the public. It was rejected in the United States yesterday and it should be rejected here. Thanks Mark. Hang on to that hat. That might be a collector's item now. Thanks Jeff. <laughs> Absolutely. Mark Latham, thank you very much for your time. A pleasure. Thanks Andrew. So say good night to the bad guy. Come on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. Come on. Make way for the bad guy. There's a bad guy coming through. Keep us asleep. Keep us selfish. Keep us sedated. They're pulling the water out of the sand like sponges. Blow it out your ass. ass.